Hi everyone, TMG back again, and I wanted to talk to you about why I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos lately, aside from the occasional like small let's play here, small unboxing there. It's because, long story short, I lifted a small anvil for making horseshoes, and I ended up hurting my back, got a herniated, a herniated disc, and I had to go get surgery for it, and then, uh, the surgery was on September 7th, I think, and then I had to go through a lot of physical therapy, so as a result of which, I haven't been able to do a lot of videos, because before the surgery, I, could, I couldn't sit in that nice desk chair I got for more than maybe 30 to 40 minutes before being in pain. But now I'm doing so much better, and I've decided to do a very special series of videos. And literally, after today, there's going to be like a couple of videos. I don't know if I'll be able to upload them every single day, but I know that after December 4th, I know I will get them all out of there. And the videos here that I'm going to be doing is my very first video vlog of my family's last vacation together to Disney World. The reason why we're going this year is because my sister is Miss Mid-Atlantic for the Mac pageant. She won at the Mac pageant in Pennsylvania, I think. And we are going there. The first week's going to be the competition. The next week's going to be Disney World. Although I will have one day in Disney World to record because I'm going to be Bailey's chaperone for her Mac pageant photo shoot on Tuesday next week. Now this Tuesday, yeah, this Tuesday. Um, so I so I might have a little footage for you there. So I wanted to show everything I've gotten ready for my trip and for doing my uh, video vlog series for all of you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, now I'm going to show you everything I've packed for my car ride up to Disney World in Florida and um, for going into the park itself. Now this isn't nearly all of it. This is just the highlighted stuff and all the stuff I bought personally online that I know what, where I got it from online. I will put a link in the video description so if you want to get it, you can. So anyway, let's get started. Now, one of the few things that I don't know where my mom got it from is this water pouch of the two. This one is for my cell phone, which is a Samsung J3 Luna Pro, which is right there. I'm using a flashlight app to produce the artificial light to make sure everyone can see what's down here. So anyway, my phone will be going in this because I also have a lanyard so it'll allow me to hang my phone around my neck along with the other waterproof pouch, the one I did buy which is a Kona plus size. I'll put a, as I said, I'll put a link in the video description. Don't know why I keep saying that. Um, perseverating, blah blah blah. And I'm going to use this one to store this. This is a RAV Power 22,000 milliamp power bank that I bought recently. I wanted to get the black one, but the problem is if I got the black one, I would never get it in time for our trip to Disney World. And literally, by the time this video is uploaded and posted online, most likely we'll be gone by tomorrow. Uh, around... Nah, I have no idea. Predicting when we leave on vacation is predicting the weather. So anyway, I got this so that way I could power all of my electronics. And I have three of them, but I'll get to those as I do it. I'm doing one thing at a time. So anyway, we'll pull these and these out of the way so that way we can get that. And just in case if I didn't show a clear picture of the lanyard, I got two of them. They're really nice. They're great for like hanging the stuff around your neck so that way you don't have to worry about pickpockets in Disney World. And I also have a lens cleaning cloth, obviously, for my smartphone, so I can keep the screen clean. Put a temp I put a tempered glass screen protector on there, so that way if I dropped it, the screen wouldn't get broken, blah blah blah. Alright, now, this I bought for two purposes. This is the RAV Power iSmart uh, 2 USB port power charger with a 2.4 amp max. The reason why I bought this is for two reasons. One is to charge, of course, the power bank. Of course, the power bank. And the other is to charge that. And I'll get to that in a moment. So let's get that out of the way. Alright, now we'll move on to this. This, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what it is. This is a NVIDIA Shield Portable. It was an Android portable gaming console. I left it on, it's telling me. 
made by Nvidia. It's really nice. I've got I've got Grand Theft Auto, Portal. Yeah, let me see what games I got. Yeah. So anyway. I will show you all the games I have. And I have to show you all the games I have from this little app. Very handy, just need to scroll down. What the heck? Because the window is a selection menu from... Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, my games. There we are. This will show me all the games I have for Android. At least the ones that are on this list, so... The games I have right now is Half-Life 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. That is a must-have if anyone has a system that can play it. Must. And of course, Portal, another must. Now, along with that, I've got several other games that aren't on here, so I'll have to slide on. Here's one. I have, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's DuckTales Remastered. Uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Lego Jurassic World. Oh, yeah, I hit it. Silly. Yeah, let me go back so that we can get through Richard. Ah, idiot. There we go. So, as you can see, I have Lego. Duck I'm sorry, not Lego. What? What am I? Ah. I have DuckTales Remastered. I have Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, Katawa Sojo, it does, it's a visual novel I really, really like, it's a good visual novel, I highly recommend it, Lego Jurassic World, Mental Hospital 3 HD, it was made by AG Gaming, I believe, I have the PSP emulator with Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep on the same, now I know what you're saying, but Chris, it can handle it, well I've managed to make some custom settings for the shield, that way I can handle Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on my shield at a decent frame rate when it's in portal mode like this, but when it goes onto a big screen it looks like a pixelated mess. So basically that game can only be played uh, with it looking nice on in portable mode. I have a horror game, another horror game called Reporter. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. I have The House, another horror game, The Reporter. Mental Hospital, Free HD, and The House were all made by the same developers. And I, of course, have The School White Day. And I have been trying to get this on sale for freaking ever. The thing is, it went on half off back in October, and I had a $2 credit that was going to expire by the end of October, so I only paid $2 for that game. And from so far, it looks pretty good. I highly recommend it, although they need to improve the... Ah. They need to improve... The gamepad support on that a bit better. That's my only gripe with it. Um, and I have that's why I really want to do a close up in the job. Damn, I can't get I can't get the focus. Anyway, that right there is Yumi Marcus. Sorry, my I managed to get that. It was not easy getting that app. And I got to have a really soft spot for this visual novel because that was my very first visual novel. The very first one I ever played on PC or Android or whatever. And it's a really good one. I highly recommend you go ahead and buy it. Support the people who made it. It's great. Some moments are really weird and some are even creepy. But it is a really good one. And it makes your heart bend, makes you laugh, makes you cry, makes you smile. So if you're a visual novel nut like I am, then you should get this game. I mean, I got like over... I got like over 50 visual novels. Don't judge me. LOL. So, there we go. So that is the, the shield. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I also am going to be installing two more games, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and along with some very good, and I also have some streaming apps. I'm going to install Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, I already got YouTube, all that jazz. So that way I can use this as a set-top box. So that way I can use this as a set-top box when I apparently get there with a special add-on that I got from Nyko, which I'm about to show you next. So let's get started on that. Alright. Now this is the second. And this is the add-on right here. This is the Nyko's 
In the video shield charging dock slash HDMI output converter. The way it works is is that it's a wireless charger too, which is really cool. The way it works is this dongle right here goes into the back of the video shield like so. There we go. The only way is I wish they had an um, audio jack pass through here. That way you could still use your headphones for this. Otherwise you have to use Bluetooth. There's no option. There's no other way. And then you prop it on here. And not only if this part on the back is plugged in, not only will it charge your NVIDIA shield, but it will also hook up a regular HDMI cable for it so you can put it in console mode. That way you can make a set top box without worrying about breaking the HDMI output or the micro USB on this thing. So it's very handy. I like it. The first one I got was broken, but they sent me, I sent that one back and they sent me a replacement almost immediately. So great job, Nyko. You got my support. You made some pretty good add-ons and I will definitely, what's the word? Um, I will definitely share this link for this product. It is freaking awesome. If you have an NVIDIA Shield, you need this stand. End of discussion. So let's get that out of the way. Now, since we're going to Florida, we need a few things. Alright, the other thing I got, and which I forgot to mention with the water pouch, is this. This is a rain poncho. The plastic rain poncho. This is so, when we go in the locker room rhyme, or if it's raining a little bit, we can pop that on and we're good to go. So we don't have to worry about getting totally soaked like a drowned rat. So, probably handy, so, moving on. This and the Bluetooth's comment was actually in the correlation of another item. This. These are some these are some Bluetooth earbuds made by Jam. They're about for, they're about thirty one dollars, which is including the tax and all that jazz. I got these from Best Buy this morning. They're really nice. The sound can sound a little mushy at times and there's a lot of high bass I think or trouble. But they're definitely worth the price of admission. You get about seven hours battery life. So I'm definitely gonna try these out for vacation. If I don't like them, I can always send them back within 30 days and then just buy a different set. So, that's that. Uh, they're sweat resistant. These are good for workouts. And that's last. That's that. Alright. Now, in case I didn't just show this, this is a special car adapter charger with a regular AC um, plug on it. And two USB uh, plugs Right, two USB ports, I mean. One that charges items that need a charge of 2.1 amps, and one that needs the charge of 1 amp. So, it goes in our Mazda, which is the main car that we're transporting most of the luggage in. So, this is apparently, but mom and dad said we could borrow it. So, Woody and I, and my brothers, and my little sister, all have something to charge it with because I could charge it with regular with the charger I showed earlier or and the other two people could use the USB port so very nice very handy I'm definitely I'm definitely like the thing I didn't get this online my mom and dad got it but I'll do some research and I'll still add the link to the, in the description of course where would you be without well, good old fashioned set of keys now, I'm not going to show any of the stuff on here aside from the keys. I have this really cool keychain, so here I'll show it. If you're a fan of Pirates of Caribbean, you probably like this keychain. So anyway, I'm, it's a really nice uh, set of keychains. I got this from an old, I got this um, little clip ring from actually from an exercise equipment that was broken. So really cool stuff. Now, a lot of the stuff here are some numbers and stuff that I don't want to share, so I'm not going to show any more. So we're moving on. Alright, this is the case of the camera, and obviously I can't show you the camera inside because it's not in there because, well, I'm using it to record this video right now. But it's a little red camera. Um, I'll send you a, I'll, I'll upload a picture of it and put the link in the, in the description to show the camera. It's a little cheapy. It is a Kodak EasyShare C180. That's the camera I'm using to record right now. I know it's not the best quality, but the thing is, I do have a high HD camera, well, my family does, and that I use for videos for the most part when it comes to doing unboxings and personal recordings and stuff. 
but the problem is my mom already packed it in luggage so I can't use it for this video so sorry guys I, w I wish I could but I can't it also comes with a strap but it's packed in my bag so I don't want to have to pitch it out this is a the case this is actually a little pouch that came with the with the raft power 22,000 milliamp charger, but I don't really need it because I have the waterproof bound, but I found a use for it. I'm using it to store all the stuff wired, including my Bluetooth earbuds, which I just showed by Jim. And it has, I have spare earbuds in here. I have all the USB charging cables, including the data transfer, including the transfer cable for the camera that I'm recording on right now, the Kodak EasyShare C180. So that way I can get these videos off and I can upload them. So I'll go ahead and move all the stuff out of the way. I have three charging cables. Two actually came with the RAF power. I have three charging cables right here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now I have three. Two of which, these two, came with the RAF power 22,000 power bank. The third one came with the earbuds. The third one, this one, came with the earbud and these two others that came with the power bank. So, there you go. I have plenty of spare earbuds, all that stuff, so I'm good to go. Now, this is something you absolutely have to have now. I'll have to put the camera down for just a second just to apparently get it out. Just uh, give me one moment, please. There we go. There's a lot of stuff with the same so I gotta use both hands, so that's why I had to put the camera down for a minute. Alright. Different color choices. Now this is something I really good. Alright. There we go. Alright, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, now we're good to go. This was what was in that case. Some really nice sunglasses that actually have a cool feature. The lens is easily removable. You just pop this latch here with the nope speed by pulling it down, and the lenses actually, and the lenses, and the lenses, sorry. Uh, stuttering a bit. Um, can actually pop out and be replaced by several different kinds. This light blue one, I haven't been able to figure out the function for this one. This um, polarized one like this, which is for basically normal sunglasses and stuff like that. These yellow ones are for nighttime driving, so that way it reduces the glare from like high beams and stuff like that. So that way less chance will swerve off the road. And lastly, a simple clear pair, which you just use as regular work goggles. So they're like a, they're like a Swiss Army sunglasses, which is really cool. And it also came with these little straps, so that way I can hang it around my neck, and so that way I won't lose them. Very nice. Well done, man. I am impressed. All right, now on to um, now we're at the home stretch. Oh, and in case I forgot to show this, is this is a digital camera cleaning kit for the camera I'm recording on. So that way I can get nice and clean. So that way I can give you a crisp, clear picture most of the time. All right. Now we're on to this. This is a the original GoPro selfie stick. I can't show it to you out of the box, but I can show you some of it because I'm holding it right now for this video. Um, here I am. Here I am. I'm gonna take it off. I can drop it for a second. Which I seem to have temporarily clean. Okay. Okay. All right, this is the selfie stick. It's a really nice thing. This thing can extend like up to six, like up to like five feet, I think. Five, four feet. I'm not entirely sure. I have to literally get a tape line out, but I don't have one. I don't know where one is. 
And this is actually a stand because this is a cool feature of it. And hold on one second. Actually, hang on. There. There we go. Then you can screw this little kickstand here into the bottom. You can use a regular camera kickstand, but this is a cool feature. That you can actually turn the selfie stick into a makeshift tripod. Now, isn't that cool? That way I could hook my camera up to it, like, I could extend this full out, put, like, that HD video camera on it. And then, uh, there's an air hockey table at the resort we're staying at. It's like a condo you rent for, like, two weeks for, like, almost the same price it would be for, like, a day or two at Disney World uh, Resort. So we just go to those condos every year because it saves us a shitload of money. And it's like a pool table, so I could use this in, uh, in, in conjunction with, for my video vlog. And I just extend it fully out, attach that HD camera, and then you guys can watch as I'm whipping my brother's ass at like pool or air hockey. It would be kind of fun. So anyway, that's that. Now I'm going to put this back onto it so I can hold the camera a bit steadier. There we go. Let's take the little stand off. Alright. Only three more items to go. Um, this is a pair of prescription glasses with the sunglass attachment on it. Uh, hold on. Now, I don't have to wear these every day like my brother Woody does because my eyes aren't that bad. In fact, it's nearly 20-20 vision. I get some blurriness in... I get some blurriness in my right eye, but it's barely noticeable. They do recommend me wearing these. It's not a legal requirement, but they do recommend it. And of course, this is the sunglasses attachments that we can use them as sunglasses, glasses, as need be. So that's that. And now this is something that's very, very, very important. I mean, this thing like saved my life. I have, uh, I have some asthma, so it's always good for me to always have an inhaler on hand at all times. I'm literally going to be putting this in the fanny packs my mom got us. So we can avoid like pickpockets, that's what the fanny packs are for. So if I have an asthma attack, I can just inhale this and I'll be fine. So, okay. Alright, so, let me check, let me try, I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I have some sunblock for, that way I don't get sunburned. Some extra spearmint, my mom told me to pack this with us. Now, oh, and... But Chris, you forgot the something. And since it's going to be like a six hour car ride for the first half and another six hour car ride for the second half, what about snacks? And oh gee of little Faye, I just got this this morning for just seven dollars. A 24 count box of Nutty Buddy candy bars. So that's 40, well, 40, come on focus you bastard. Uh, if you can't read it, sorry, it says 48 cookies there. So this is going to keep me fed well into then, and when we get to a gas station tomorrow, I'm going to get a uh, 2 liter of like Mountain Dew, or just a 1 liter of Mountain Dew, for me to drink as we're driving down. So I've got food here, and I'm going to get a soda, a big soda tomorrow. So this is the last of the stuff. So I guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it, and hey, maybe a subscribe. And I look forward to sh continuing my um, vlog over the next two weeks, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. You guys have a great night, have a happy Thanksgiving, and a Merry Christmas to boot then. So anyway, this is... Sorry about that, my camera suddenly all of a sudden decided to stop recording. So as I was saying, have a happy Thanksgiving, have a Merry Christmas. This is DMG signing off. Peace.